Okay, here's one thing where we differ. Getting fired up already. Yeah, see, already we're going, we're arguing again. So I guess this is reliving last time. <laughs> Before we get into today's video, I want to share some big news with you guys. We have a brand new training program. It's available today, but the fit test starts tomorrow. So if you want to jump on this and train together with us and all of Team Live Lean, it's all available at gym version or home version. So wherever you train, you can do this. Fresh gains, workouts, nutrition, meal plans, cooking videos, accountability, doing it with us. It's all in there, link down below. Let's get started, let's get lean baby, let's go. From Snapchat Dex to real. Can you build muscle doing CrossFit? Aha, uh -huh. I remember <laughs> when we talked about this one time. <laughs> I think I will just sit this one out. We, on this question, we had an argument. I me and Brad. I tore Jess a new one. Her, oh, her, excuse her, me. I think we tore each other a new one. Okay. My response to this is <laughs> definitely you can build muscle doing CrossFit. It depends on where you are in the realm of your fitness. So CrossFit's not necessarily programmed to get people to be big and bulky yeah, like bodybuilders. the point of CrossFit is not building muscle. It's more performance. Right. So it's more athleticism, it's more conditioning. But Jessica went off on this little tangent about how you're gonna get injured no, if you No, I just said, you should be careful. Brad like got, went way off. I was gonna be like, oh, so like, if somebody says, I like to go for walks in the street, are you gonna tell them be to be careful? careful? Yes. Or if Look somebody does when you cross. if somebody does body weight workouts, are you gonna be like, just be careful? You're saying be careful because you just have this assumption that because people have got injured doing CrossFit, all the fitness world who doesn't like CrossFit jumps on the board like it's hurting everybody. No, it's A, it's bad coaching that's hurting people. It's putting people who are brand new to fitness into the wrong situations, putting them through the wrong exercises, not coaching them properly. That's why people are getting hurt. It's not CrossFit, it's the poor coaching. Okay, here's one thing where we differ. Getting fired up already. Yeah, see, already we're going, we're arguing again, so I guess this is reliving last time. Okay. No, last all time I was better. Say, yeah, all I wanna say is that I am a personal trainer, like, and I have been for almost 12 years. That makes me sound really old. But anyway, 12 years of working with people one-on-one. -on -one. So all I'm trying to say is that in my experience, I've had a lot of clients come to me saying, I love lifting weights, but I tried CrossFit and I got injured and I had problems and yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> so I've just heard that side of the story because of my profession and what I do and from working with the people that I work with. So I'm just, that's all I'm saying. But you gotta just have context behind it. It's not that right. CrossFit injures and you. I've done it it's myself. It's doing and CrossFit injured. poorly injures, injures right, you. exactly. Doing bodybuilding poorly right. injures you. Doing a sport poorly injures you. So yes, it's and just, I do agree that it's more about the coach than about the actual genre of workout and, itself. And the person you can't just blame the coach if you get injured in CrossFit. It's you too, like you're ultimately responsible for your own body. If you right. feel like, you're not properly doing something or you don't know how to do it right or the weight's too heavy, you gotta be the ultimate judge of that. Right, and tell your coach that it's uncomfortable for you or whatever, but I just think that the setting of CrossFit is what makes it more susceptible to injury than a wor working with a one-on-one -on -one trainer because you're in a class and everything is on speed and you're trying to beat yeah. the people next to you. There's, there's, we're way off the tangent No, we're not, right we're not. I mean, we kind of are. Billy, he wants to know if you can build muscle. Yes, you can. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> But if your goal is primarily to build muscle, like more bodybuilding style workouts are gonna be better for right. you. Right, exactly. That's so, why it's called bodybuilding yeah. because it builds your body. But yeah. CrossFit is just, it's more of a fitness, like cross between. Performance. Yeah. It's more performance. It's, it's like more of a sport. So yeah. I, Dex, I know you're doing my Live Lean Mass program. So I would say stick to Live Lean Mass because it's the volume style training. Um, you're gonna get the, enough volume. You're gonna be lifting weights in that amount of load weight that you need to lift to build muscle, to break down the muscle, to rebuild it. So keep following that program, buddy. You're gonna get awesome results. Mm -hmm. All right, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> we got through it. We still like each other. <laughs> <laughs> to find the best program for you, go take our Live Lean Body Quiz. Answer four simple questions and we'll get you on the best program based on your goals. Warm ups, workouts, cool downs, and nutrition plans. We have it all. Link in the video description below. Today's question of the day Have you ever tried CrossFit? Share your experiences in the comment section below. Now, I want you to go watch our video on the five best tips for muscle growth. Go right over here and click.